Hello everyone, this is Juan from Ken Hub and welcome to another anatomy tutorial where this time I'm going to be talking about the superior view of the base of the skull. So what I'm going to be doing here on this tutorial is looking at the superior view of the skull as you can see here on the image of the screen. We're going to be describing the different structures that you can see from this view. Now. I'm going to just quickly list them before we move on and talk about them in a little bit more detail. So we're going to be seeing bones, different fossae, foramina, canals, some sulci can be seen as well, and other structures that are related to the different bones that are seen here from this view. Now let's continue on to the different bones and related structures that can be seen from the superior view of the base of the skull. The first bone is this one that you see here highlighted in green. This is known as the sphenoid bone, which is sometimes referred to as the wasp bone due to its shape. It makes up the middle part of the base of the skull and is comprised of four parts, three of which we can clearly see from the superior view of the base of the skull, which is the body. You can see it here. This is the body of the sphenoid. You also see the two greater wings here and the two lesser wings, as you can clearly see here. Now, we cannot see the pterygoid processes. We can only see them from an inferior or lateral view of the skull. But I just wanted to add here to the list so you know that the sphenoid bone is comprised of these four main parts. Now we're going to focus on this one that you see here highlighted in green. These are the greater wings of the sphenoid bone. And the greater wings of this bone arise from or arise posterior laterally from the body of the sphenoid. There are three important openings or foramina visible on the greater wings from this aspect. One of them is the foramen rotundum through which the maxillary nerve passes through. There's also the foramen ovale through which the mandibular nerve and the accessory meningeal artery pass through. And the other one is known as the foramen spinosum here, the middle meningeal vessels, and also the meningeal branch of the mandibular nerve pass through. And we're going to take a closer look at these different foramina on or later on on this tutorial. We're going to highlight them and see them, but just keep in mind that they're found on the greater wing of the sphenoid bone. Another important point to make here is that the lateral and anterior surfaces of the sphenoid bone make up the infratemporal surfaces and lateral walls of the orbit respectively. This video is not over yet. Continue watching now the full video at KenHub.com. We have lots more videos like this one available to our premium members on our website, not to mention all the fun quizzes, related articles, and Atlas sections. So click on the button in the middle to watch the full-length video and master anatomy.